Today I want to show you the formula for making a really refreshing uh, and nutritious beverage to, uh, that is especially nice in the summer months. Uh, this method was taught to me by a, uh, a uh, friend of mine who I would consider to be a guru of uh, wellness and things like that. So uh, a guru of many things, but especially uh, nutrition and wellness and whatnot. So, um, the formula starts with these, uh, this tea I've made here, it's Cali tea. Uh, it's four bags in 12 cups of water. And so I got uh, four cups worth there. Uh, I might have boiled down a little bit, so it might be a little bit less than 12 cups now. But um, I'm gonna pour that into this glass jug. And then I'm gonna, uh, I think I'm gonna level it off with water. I'll have to check the recipe again. Um, but yeah, that's the first step. So I brewed this for, you know, I kind of got the water up to a boil and let it simmer. Uh, my friend uses coffee pot, which is probably what I'm going to switch to also, but uh, uh, this is what I have for now. So. Um, so yeah, the first step is making 12 cups worth of four bags of the Cali tea. All right, so now I have the Cali tea, a gallon's worth. Again, I, I started with 12 cups in here to make the brew. Uh, and through the boiling, that made it about, made it about 10 cups actually, but... Uh, Anyways, it's the concentration out of the tea bags, what you're trying to get. But uh, so I poured the 10 cups of the concentrated stuff into there, filled the rest with water. This is a one gallon jug. These, all, all the jugs uh, I use are going to be one gallon. Um, so uh, then I'm letting the tea bags steep in there a little bit more, get the last little, little bit of good, at the, good in them while we're doing the rest of the process here. Um, so, and then this is the Fortune Delight. Uh, which you is this stuff here? It's like granulated. Uh, it's kind of enzymes and stuff like that. Uh, it's 26 grams go in, go in a gallon for this for this batch we're making. Uh, so that's one of these big packets and two of the smaller packets out of there. The mix 26, we have 23 and three. So, um, and then the only other thing we'll be adding is uh, these uh, four vials of liquid five three vials of evergreen, which is basically chlorophyll, and three vials of electrosport, which is uh, electrolyte uh, formula. So the, uh, we'll portion these two things together. Um, we'll have our, our two separate gallons, and then uh, they'll be make, we'll be mixing into a, a third gallon, and uh, we're gonna end up with two gallons worth of the drink basically. So there'll be some more water added and stuff like that, but uh, we'll end up with two two gallons total. So uh, that's that's the step thus far. I'm kind of waiting for the foam to calm down on this. Like I, I need to add a little more water so we can come, really only do it little by little. I don't want to force the foam out of there because that's probably where a lot of the good stuff is. So I'm just letting it settle out naturally in the fridge. Um, all this stuff is, is refrigerated, by the way. You keep, uh, keep it refrigerated once you make the tea. That's the only part that gets hot. This is made with room temperature water. Um, and then you should keep everything in the fridge once you're past the making the tea part. So um, I'll try to show you the next uh, blending step here. All right, so now I'm going to be adding the uh, formulas out of the vial here. The liquid 5, the evergreen, and the electrosport. So I'm going to put those in, uh, all those vials I'm going to dump into here and then fill this with uh, probably four cups of water, you know, uh, so there's two cups of the mix there, probably stir it all together. And then I'm going to start uh, start blending everything together. I have a gallon of Cali tea, the gallon of the Fortune Delight, and uh, I'll have four cups of this stuff. So I'll um, start, I'll show you how I proportion that all together, but the first things first, I'm going to get all the formulas in here. Okay, so I got all the vials in. I got the cup filled the rest of the way with water. You see it's got a real nice deep color to it. Uh, most color comes from the chlorophyll. The other stuff's kind of brown, like the uh, kind of a mud color almost actually. And uh, this gives it a nice, the chlorophyll gives it a nice deep green. So I'm gonna split up these two cups, cup worths between these two. Uh, this one's already chilled and keep it in the fridge. Um, so I'm gonna put two cups in here, two cups in here, and then start to proportion I'm going to uh, start to mix the uh, the Fortune Delight and the Cali Tea together. I'm going to get those um, get those mixed together somehow. I'm not, not quite sure about that yet. I'll probably just do yeah, I'll probably just do half 
half and half in each with that too, and then fill the rest up with water. So. All right, so I ended up with a little bit of extra Cali tea here, uh, maybe about a quart, I guess. Um, so I got two full gallons of the, the mix of everything else, equal parts, Cali tea, uh, formula, and stuff like that, vials. So uh, what I'm going to do is probably just make this all into three gallons. Um, I'll come up with a more refined process for it. This is my first time actually uh, doing it myself. So uh, it's a little bit little bit rough. So if, if any of you guys are actually interested in it or um, if you think this is just crazy, <laughs> then uh, then never mind while you're watching the video anyways. But uh, if you're actually interested in it, I'll, I'll try to, I can, I can give you maybe a better explanation or send you like a, a recipe or something like that. Like, uh, uh, I don't, um, I know the Sunrider is kind of a multi-level marketing thing and a lot of people look at it that way. I don't, I do not have a link in the description. I'm not, I'm not pushing Sunrider products. It's a, uh, uh, just something that I've, after someone introduced it to me and I tried it for a while, free of cost, <laughs> uh, I realized it was uh, wor worthwhile. Again, some of the stuff is kind of expensive, and, and again, there's there's definitely a lot of people using it as just a pyramid scheme. But uh, it's not the case here. Uh, if you guys are interested in it, find someone who sells sells it. Find a way to get Sunrider stuff. Um, I can again give you a list of ingredients, um, and then uh, this is. This is just a good way to put a couple of their products together into a really nice kind of energy drink. It's uh, especially really good for the summer. So um, I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, level this off, um, proportion this all out to three gallons. I'm going to fill this up so it's probably uh, put a quart of water in there so it's a half gallon. And then maybe do a quart out of each of these and then just uh, top them all off with water. So, all right. So then the last thing we're going to add, and this is, uh, there's, this is a lot more negotiable. I mean, all of it's negotiable in terms of quantity you, you make in your own mix or whatever, but, uh, this will be, uh, this, this is the stevia. This is the sixth formula. And uh, you just kind of add that you can either add it as you drink it or something like that. If you're pouring out a proportion for the day, uh, about 10 drops to 16 ounces is a pretty good proportion for my taste. And, uh, uh, stevia is not just for taste. It is also a uh, you know, uh, con uh, contributes to uh, re the regenerative effect. Uh, it's actually pretty good stuff. So, anyways, so that'll be the sixth formula, and I'll add that. I now have three jugfuls. The other two are in the fridge, and uh, so the last thing that is just the stevia, and I'm just going to do that as I drink it. So that's how you do the Sunrider Six formula, or how I do it, anyways and uh, how I've been taught to do it. And uh, they said, if you guys are interested in, in it, then I'll uh, maybe could do a better video or, uh, or could send you guys a recipe or whatever. So um, thanks for watching. Have a good one.